Happy Monday, crafty friends. Hello, everybody. Well, Turkey Week is here. What? Turkey Tur Week? Turkey Week, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, how about that? Happy Turkey Day, everybody. Uh, well, we got a few days before it's the day. Well, you know, we probably won't be doing any videos on the day. Well, no, we won't be. I won't be, I'm sure. But anyway... I have painted these gnomes, and y'all, they are the easiest things in the world to paint. So, I'm challenging you. Here that comes. And when you see how easy it's going to be, you're going to go right for your watercolor pa paint. Oh, uh -huh. really? Yes. You're going to say, oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I can do that. I know, that's what you're going to say. And you can, you can. All right, so I got this blank piece of paper. All right, and so it's watercolor paper, and I I always cut my pieces um, three and three quarters by five, and then I can double mat them on a card if I want to. So that's the size it is. So the first thing you're going to do is make his nose, and it's pretty much in the center, you know, and that makes it super easy. So all you're going to do is make yourself an oval like that. Okay. Okay. Easy enough, right? Then you're going to take just a little bit of a color and add a little bit of pink to the top of it. Like that. Give my little no shine, if you will. All right. Then you're going to rinse your brush out. Then we'll make... This one, this one's going to have a, let's make this one have a red hat. So just, you know, your brush should be pretty wet. Okay, so all you're going to do is make a line over his nose. Make it go up into a point And make it come down. Alright. And then you're just going to fill that in. Okay. Yeah, it's just a cute little gnome, and it's so easy. All right, so there's his hat. All right, so now you're going to go in with some gray, and you're just going to say swash, 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 swash. Wet it some more. Just get in there and make you some swishes. Some swishes? Swishes. Oh, swishes. Beard swishes, you know, beard swishes. It's acrylic paint. It's okay to use watercolor paper, isn't it? Yeah, uh huh. Okay. So then, let's. Make him a little pom-pom on the top of his hat. And uh, I guess we can go ahead and make that red. I should have done that before, but I didn't. And all you do is make a bunch of X's over the top of each other. And voila. Pom-pom hat. Okay. Now we're going to go in with the green. And we're going to make some holly. And you could leave this part out. But I'll, all you do is make use and make them connect and then you got yourself a holly leaf just like that you 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 and me okay i'm going to add some more color to that okay let's do some more you 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 you, you, you. Fill it in. You, you, you. Make some more paint. You, you, you. You, you, you. Add some more. You going to sing a song? I'm going to sing the you, you song. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. And you. And 
So you do these, you use, and then you just fill them in. Like so. Okay? And this is the only one I don't like, and it's because I had too much water. But it'll be fine because once I um, take my little black pen to it, it won't even matter. Okay. Now, we're going to go back in and get some red and make our berries. And that's just pretty much a drop, a drop, and a drop. And a drop, and a drop, and a drop. And a drop, and a drop, and a drop. Alright. So if you want to make your, your uh, brim on his little hat, you can do that, but you don't have to. You can make these little lines here, but you don't have to. Alright. So, there it is. And you're saying to yourself, but wait. <laughs> but wait. Alright, I'm going to dry this for just a second because I want to make sure it's dry. Simply because when I'm going to go in with this permanent marker, if it's not dry, it'll ruin my marker. Want to know how many markers I've ruined? A lot. Yeah, a lot of them. And sometimes you think, no, I'm not. And sometimes you think your your work is dry, but your marker doesn't think it is. And the next, and the next thing you know, all right, it's in the trash. Yep. So these are Stadler. Try plus fine liners, but you could use microns, you can use uh, what, what are they called? Pit pens, you know, whatever works uh, for you. What's a pit pen? It's, it's one of the, a fine, like a fine liner. Uh, All right, so okay. instead of trying to trace it, you're just going to exaggerate every line, okay? And, it, and it's harder than you think. This is what's funny because. In your mind, your mind's wanting to trace the perfect shape, or that's what mine does. And it's it's very, um, like my head's saying, don't pick that up. You know, don't go outside the lines. But for this, it's what makes it look cool. And see where I messed this one up? Well, no one will ever know but us. That I don't oh, whoever else watches the that's us. That's us people. That's who us is. That's right. <laughs> All right. Us so is. remember, you're just kind of sketching along, singing a song, not staying in the lines. Side by side. Side by side. Then up here, you're going to make a bunch of X's to accentuate. Accentuate. X. His hat. Now, this is a part that's that really is just like, oh, it'll make you want to sing. So you just start kind of scribbling around here and there. No matter what yeah. you do, it looks right. It looks good. It looks intentional. <laughs> Look at that. Slap yourself and call yourself an artist. You done did it now. <laughs> wonderful right and so uh, then I said slap yourself and call yourself an artist oh wow <laughs> so slap then yourself. yeah slap yourself because you'll be like oh look what I just did all right so now I'm going to use some of my mica sprays because they're Ooh. yummy and delicious I think I might use this um holly branch this time for fun so, you know, you got to shake the, the stew out of these till you hear that little ball moving about in there. Sometimes it's hard to get it to go. Yeah, I probably should have... it's like a little BB or something. I it? probably should have used the one, one of them that I had already used since the I had already dislodged the... Maybe it's moving now. And, you know, I mean, then you wouldn't have to use micro sprays. You could use any kind of spray. Or you could not use the spray at all. And you could watercolor the background. There she goes. 
<laughs> now. Yeah, that can happen. All right. I'll put it way back in here. Ready? Ready. Ah! Oh, let me clean this off. That's a disaster waiting to happen. I've never, knock on some wood, had one of these to clog up. And I hope that I never do. All right, so, I see how his, you, and with spray, you don't know. You just have to be brave and go forth. That's what I say. Um, Because see how much it got on his beard? But it's okay. And now, I'm going to go in with some of my white. And you could use a... Um, it's not wet. You could use a um, gel pen, but yeah. again, when you use a gel pen, if there's any moisture on your uh, paper, it's gonna it's gonna fight you. And I say, instead of being fought, just go right to the the good stuff. And this is um. Dr. P.H. Martin's Bleed Proof White. Yeah. Uh, I got some of his stuff, You might. Huh? You might. 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 Might, might. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. There he is. I think he is just as festive as can be. And look. He's got that magic sparkle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lovely. And you could make him in any kind of color way. You can make his hat laying down. You can make it going straight up. You know, it's so cool. And if you wanted your lines to be darker, you could do your lines after you sprayed. But I like it either way because you never know. For instance, it really looks like I concentrated the spray on his beard, and I didn't. I just held it back and sprayed, and that's where it happened to fall. So, you know. Anywho, I have I have really liked that Judy, and you know, has been like she's been making the ornaments when I made them, and. And there's so many easy things you can do with watercolor, and they're easy and fast, and, you know, you can't go wrong, and, and slap yourself. There you did it. It's done. Why do you keep saying slap yourself? Because you won't believe it. Then you got to put your initials on there. I mean, you won't, you know, look, we did that in how long? 13 minutes. And, you know, if I wasn't yakking so much, it might not have taken that long. So anyway, give it a try, let me know what you think, and get those watercolors out. Alright, love you guys. Blessings!